Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2016 Mazda MX-5. Now this has an 875 horsepower, 616 pounds feet of torque V6 engine, now weighing 2,133, no, 2,333 pounds. So yeah, a, a lot, uh, and the reason why it's a bit heavier than it would be originally, outside of all the upgrades being taken off it, is because it's now got all-wheel drive and it now has the V6 engine from... Uh, I can't remember now if it's Infinity or something like that, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, a lot, 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 lot more powerful than it was originally, and now all-wheel drive means that you can do 0 to 60 in 2.053 seconds and 0 to 104.261 seconds. So yeah, lightning fast. Uh, but whether or not it's going to be all that good on the top end, we'll have to see. So uh, let's see what it can do. This is probably one of the smaller modern cars that we've taken out on this series. So whether or not it's going to be able to hold its own against all the bigger hypercars and supercars, we'll have to see. I went for all-wheel drive just because it's a lot smoother off the line and uh, can uh, handle the power a lot better when it's going quicker. But yeah, we're going to be going well ahead of its 140 odd mile an hour top speed from stock. Oh, the brakes still aren't all that great. Oh dear. Then again, it's going to have understeer on like last time, because, yeah, all wheel drive. Wasn't that something it was meant for? Approaching 200 mile an hour, there we go. 220, it's been really rather smooth, no drama whatsoever. 235, there's 240. It's really, it's dealing with this kind of speed really rather well. Here comes 250, there we go. Any more? 251, 252. By three. Ah, I think that's all we're gonna get. Whoa, dear! Might be able to handle the power in a straight line, but it's not handling the speed in the uh, on that corner. But yeah, 253 mile an hour. It's like, pretty damn good, especially when you consider how uh, smooth it was as well. A lot of cars can get to that top speed, but they'll uh, be on the raggedy edge when they're doing it. But this was, yeah, behaving really rather well. So as a result, that's as quick as the Ferrari 488 GTB and the SRT Viper. Slightly ahead of the Infiniti Q50 Euro Rouge, but a couple of mile an hour behind the Aston Martin Vanquish. But that Vanquish had way more power than this did. So uh, and yeah, it's more it was more suited to that kind of speed originally because it was a 200 mile an hour plus car to start with. But yeah, it's still pretty impressive, and it's easily, like I said, the uh, from stock the uh, least powerful uh, original uh, car that we've had in terms of. Uh, being new, because yeah, there's not many 2016 cars that are this small or uh, this uh, not as quick in terms of stock form. So yeah, really surprised how well it could handle all that power and speed. So yeah, highly recommend trying it out because it is a fun car to even drive when it's not got all this power. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.